is up sports key to youtube and click pod nation as always thank you for joining me your boy jg and we back with a what did we learn from monday night raw and real quick wednesday we will break down this week in wrestling trust me i got a lot to talk about and we're gonna go over raw and smackdown in detail with all my opinions so be ready but for now Let's just cover what we learned. So the first thing we learned on tonight's Monday Night Raw is Baron Corbin is not ready for the problems that lie ahead of him. So with that being said, man, we get a continuation from what we seen Friday at Crown Jewels where Baron Corbin attacked Braun Strowman pre-match, setting up Brock Lesnar to easily destroy Braun Strowman. We see, we start the night with a ring surrounded by security guards. We get Braun Strowman come out, the whole entire locker room, and he wants to talk about SmackDown. Or, sorry, he wants to talk about SmackDown. And first, he wants to talk about how Shane stole the World Cup. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Then he proceeds to talk about his Survivor Series and his Survivor Series team, which his first two members, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre, no big surprise there, man. They've been carrying the Raw roster, in my opinion, along with Seth Rollins. But then he picks his number three to be Braun Strowman, and he says he hopes Braun can understand that what happened Friday was what was best for the authority. But with that being said, man, we see a determined Braun Strowman hauling, hauling butt in his own fast-paced walk towards the ring, unable to get his hands on Baron Corbin. And that only sets us up for the continuation throughout the night, which leads us to finally Baron Corbin just exiting the whole entire arena, supposedly because he had an important meeting come up, but we all really know he's terrified of Braun Strowman. The next thing we learn on tonight's Monday Night Smackdown, Alexa Bliss is a Survivor Series captain? But she won't participate? More like literally just there to lead her team? So before Braun Strowman comes out, we hear the active GM, Baron Corbin, tell us that Alexa Bliss will lead her own Survivor Series squad. She is able to handpick her squad. And this actually sets us up for the first match of the night, which is Natalia. Sasha and Bailey versus the Riot Squad. So once again, we're back on repeat. But that actually leads us perfectly into what we learn next. And that's Ruby Riot might have crushed the spirit of Natalia, symbolized by the crushing of her dad, Jim the Anvil Nightheart's glasses. So tonight before the match, we see Natalia put on her father's glasses and say she's going to wear him down to the ring. And this match is this match is dedicated to him. But when we get deep into the match right before we're going to have a finish, Ruby Riot grabs the glasses and right in front of Natalia destroys them. And with that being said, Natalia breaks down. There's no continuation to the match. We actually see Sasha and Bailey comforting. Natalia to end the match. And what I'm thinking is, did the Riot Squad really win by count out? Can anybody tell me out there, what was the actual finish to this match? Because last I checked, Natalia would have had the 10 count. Logan would have been in the ring. Riot Squad wins. But with that being said, how will Natalia rally from this heartbreaking moment? The next thing we learn on tonight's Monday Night Raw, and probably the thing I'm most excited about with the whole entire show, even though personally, I thought this was a joke, and that is AOP is way too much for Seth Rollins. So in a handicap tag team championship match, Seth Rollins takes on AOP, his partner Dean Ambrose, MIA from the match. Seth put on one hell of a showing. Once again, proves to us why Monday Night is Monday Night Rollins, but... He is not, and I mean not enough, 
to hang with the likes of AOP, led by Drake Maverick. So with Drake Maverick leading the way, Razor and Akam are your new Raw Tag Team Champions. And to be honest, I think you put the Tag Team Division in the perfect hands. But, before we leave this segment, Dean Ambrose makes an appearance, comes in the ring, and instead of giving us an explanation, gives Seth Rollins the dirty deeds, and still leaves Seth Rollins wondering, why, Dean? Why? Then we get a quick, and I mean quick, showing by Apollo Crews literally running through Jinder Mahal. So with a quick gorilla press slam, standing moonsault, Apollo Crews defeats Jinder Mahal in a match that I probably took longer to talk about than actually happened. The next thing we learn on tonight's Monday Night Raw is Dolph Ziggler learned the true meaning of WWE. So we get Dolph Ziggler coming down to the ring talking about how he was robbed. He was stolen from by Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon interjecting himself in a World Cup match in the finals and then winning and proclaiming he is the best in the world. But Elias doesn't want to hear this. Elias has had enough. So Elias comes out proclaims that the song that he has for Dolph Ziggler tonight is so good, it will reunite Oasis. And since we are in the beautiful land of the United Kingdom, everybody's loving this. But the match itself, we actually see Mr. Elias hit the drift away, get the one, two, three, and show the world and Dolph Ziggler, while the WWE stands for Walk with Elias. The next thing we learn is a question to me. So Ronda Rousey is the world's baddest bitch? Self-proclaimed, of course. You did not hear it here first. She is self-proclaimed the world's baddest bitch. But my question is, if you're the baddest bitch... What are you going to say when Bicky Lynch runs through you at Survivor Series? Because I got high stakes in this match. High stakes. And I cannot wait till we drop the review for this match specifically. Because I'm going to go in ham. But with that being said, once again, I pose the question to you. Is Ronda Rousey the world's baddest bitch? Or is it simply put, Becky Lynch is the man. <clears throat> the next thing we learned tonight, Nia Jax and Tamina are actually working together. So in a once again repeat match between Ember Moon and Nia Jax, where once again we see Nia Jax completely dominant against Ember Moon. Congratulations, thank you for showing up, but Ember, we have seen you are not going to get the best of Nia. But with that being said, after the match, we get Tomina coming down. And at first, there's a little confrontation. You think Nia Jax is actually going to save her quote-unquote friend, Ember Moon. But instead, we see this is an all a setup for Tomina and Nia to expose the fact that they are working together. But not only that, Rhonda, you better watch your back. Because Tomina's watching Nia's. And the last thing we learn on tonight's WWE Smack or WWE Monday Night Raw. Mm. Lashley destroys Finn. But not only that, Finn gets a claymore for his efforts. And I know you guys are out there wondering, how do we get a claymore from Lashley destroying Finn? So tonight we get led by the man. The man, he smells like money. Mr. Leo Rush himself, once again playing a factor, assisting Bobby Lashley in a win over Finn Balor. And at the end, we see Drew McIntyre come down. And at this moment, you think you're going to see some kind of compassion from Drew to Finn. But instead, we see Drew throw Finn into the ropes and deliver a Claymore from hell and omg i would hate to be finn balor tomorrow morning 
with all that being said, there is technically one more thing that we learned on tonight's Monday Night Raw. But if you watch Crown Jewels, you actually learned this then. That Kurt Angle is done. Kurt, thank you for everything you have done for me throughout your entire career. But my man, it is time to call it a wrap. You did not look better tonight than you looked on Friday. So, with that being said, Kurt, I think it's time to find your position back in the office. Help these young bucks. But as far as seeing you in in-ring action, please, let's bypass this at Survivor Series. But with all that being said, guys, that's what we learned from tonight's Monday Night Raw. Please tune in tomorrow when we will talk about what we learned from Tuesday Night SmackDown. And don't forget, Wednesday, we will talk about the weekend wrestling. More specifically, a full breakdown of SmackDown, Raw, the highs, the lows, the things we liked, the things we didn't like. And I will let you know, we haven't had one of these in a while. And I'm, I'm about to boil over. But... Leaving on that note, I want to remind you guys, as always, of one last thing. Please, take names, kick ass, and peace.